Hey guys, okay, um, here we are at the next house that's on Sweetbriar. Um, when you walk in, it's super high ceilings, very open floor plan concept. Um, really nice, it's just a little dated, but as far as like what the space that it has to offer is really nice. So here are, this is the view actually, let's do it from the side so you can see this is as you walk through it. So tons of natural lighting, which is great out here when it's so much gray skies. Um, the carpet is gray, um, almost like a bluish gray color. It's showing up really gray in the um, camera, but it is actually like a bluish gray more than it is just gray. Um, so this is the, the coat closet that's underneath the stairs. And that's off to the left as you walk in. And then off to the right here, you have your powder bathroom. It's actually a really good size powder bathroom. And it has, um, let's see, ceramic tile flooring. This is the kitchen when you come in. And then it has a dining area. This dining area might be a little big for the space. Um, so if you've got something a little bit smaller, probably won't seem as, you know, tight there. But this is the living room area. And then here is your ceiling fan in here. Then it leads off to this back porch patio area. Um, it does have ceramic tile here, just so about 24 inches of tile there off of the um, sliding door. And then it is fully landscaped, fully fenced, um, has this little fire pit which is nice. I believe that's a fire pit. I can only guess that that's a fire pit. Um, and then um, yard looks really good. Nice to maintain. Lots of privacy back there. Um, looks like it may have the main road over there. So you're not going to get a lot of traffic um, on this side because it's just kind of, it, it's a main road, but it's really not. It's pretty dead back there. Okay. So coming over here, we have in the kitchen area, you have stainless steel appliances, gas stove, um, tile backsplash. It has a um, pantry here. I don't know if this, yeah, that's, that's built in. So that stays. And I'm assuming it's similar to a cutting board, but I'm not sure. Um, and you have your garage and it's two car garage. Your furnace is here, it has an additional um, fridge in there. Gas fireplace. Okay, I'm gonna take you upstairs. So as you come up, you have this landing area. They utilized it with a desk and some like little chair sitting area. Um, this is the master. It has a ceiling fan in here, vaulted ceilings, really big master, it's huge. It's got like two chairs here, tons of space over there. It's a really big master. Um, double sink, toilet, this door. It's unfortunately the toilet area. Then you have closet. And it's a walk-in closet. Your shower. Sorry, let me have a So shower area here. It has vinyl flooring in here. Soaking tub there. It's got window. Next, we have laundry area. So, decent size. It has um, a utility sink in it. Bedroom number two. The floors squeak a little bit, but I mean, the, given the age of the home settling and stuff, it probably is going to sweet, uh, squeak a little bit. But um, for the most part, like everything looks pretty maintained. There are some like Little things that like just paint areas. Um, I would probably paint that where they're probably moving out furniture and hit the walls and hit them a little bit. 
Um, so going back into this room, it's a really big room. You have ceiling fan, you have a walk-in closet. And then it has what's called Jack and Jill style bathroom. So you walk through and there's two bedrooms attached to this bathroom. So it has a double sink. There's your tub, toilet area. And then a bathroom number three, a bedroom number three. And this one does not have a walk-in closet and it's not as large. It does have a ceiling fan. So overall, really nice. Um, I believe it was downstairs. There was one area I was gonna show you. I'll head back down and I'll show you that area here in a bit.